Hello again, it's Louie for UHS Hardware. This video will cover calibration of the machine, as well as downloading and installing the firmware update if you need it. Downloading and installing the X-Horse controller app for mobile device. Visit the App Store on your device and enter X-Horse into the App Search. Download and install the app. Accept permissions and agreements. When you want to link to the X-Horse device, ensure that Bluetooth is on. Swipe to the shown products until you find the key cutting machine section. If the Dolphin unit isn't the machine on screen, then select Switch Device and choose the Dolphin. Make sure the toggle to turn on the Bluetooth is orange. Then select your device from the list below. Once it appears in the device list, setup and sync is now complete. Hardware calibration. On the Key Tool Max or XWorks app, select device information on the bottom right. Listed below are all the hardware calibration and device tests. Under device calibration, first select the height level adjustment. Follow the on-screen instructions and adjust your probe to be even with the milling cutter. Once you're prompted, loosen the screw and make sure it is touching the clamp equally to the cutter and hit continue. Once it's complete, accept and move on to clamp calibration and insert the blank test key into the M1 clamp. Line up the end of the blank to the first line of the clamp base. Tighten the red knob and hit continue. After the clamp calibration is complete, move on to cutting calibration. Ensure the test key tip is aligned with the first line of the clamp. Tighten if needed and hit start. When the cutting calibration finishes, you are ready to move on to updating the firmware. To find out if your machine is up to date on its firmware, we will need to check the app. At the bottom of the screen, select the first tab from the left, Update. Once inside, confirm whether or not your firmware is the latest. If so, continue on to the next step. If not, it's time to upgrade. You're going to plug in your computer in the Condor unit. Power them both up and connect the USB cable from the PC to the key cutting machine. Go to the search bar located in the bottom left corner of the screen next to the start menu. Click the bar and enter Windows Security Settings. Once in the security settings, select Virus and Threat Protection. After it opens up, click all toggles to the off position. Although this seems strange, it's necessary to keep Windows from misreading the download file and deleting it once it's on your computer. Note, any antivirus software that you have installed on your computer must be turned off or paused for the install to succeed. Go to www.uhs-hardware.com and locate downloads in the footer of the page. Scroll down to Xwork Tools and find the Condor update. And begin the download process. Once the file is downloaded, open it up and find the update file, upgradekit.exe, and click it open. The updater should launch immediately and begin its process. There may be a software update for the updater itself, so just hit continue until all changes are made. Once the updater is ready, click the Find Device button on the bottom right. When the updater completes its connection, click the Upgrade button. Once the update finishes, confirm the correct firmware version by clicking the Find Device once more and waiting for the info to update. Once you're complete here, we can start making a key. Continue to the next video to learn how to make a key by code, or if you missed the first video, how to unbox and set up your Dolphin machine, head back to the first video in this series.